is this Tracy? I'm coming from you live from Saturday night. It's Tracy. <laughs> so we are in the middle of board game weekend. Board game weekend with my friends um, means that we literally are playing board games almost the whole day. Um, if we're not playing board games, then we're um, just hanging out, having fun, etc. But I wanted to record this really quick because all tomorrow we'll be playing games again. And they're actually staying until Monday, so I want to make sure I got this recorded before Monday. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is me coming at you live, literally late Saturday night, <laughs> after a day of strategizing and having fun. Okay, let's start off with Happy Mail. I have two Happy Mail. Yay! <laughs> I finally went to my P.O. Box and got this one. This one I've had, but I was waiting um, to open it, so... This one is from Josie Saves. Um, I got this from Josie. She was part of my 700 subscriber giveaway. I got this when I got the products, but I wanted to wait to share it because I didn't want to sneak in what the products were. <laughs> so she sent this really cute card. Thanks for the support. Get it. <laughs> I always think of Liz now with her over the, over the shoulder boulder holder comment. <laughs> But anyways, I ordered stuff from her shop. Um, she wrote a really sweet note just about how her husband has passed away and she's going through some health stuff and their their family's just going through it right now. So I'm not going to read the note, just I'm going to keep that private. But she sent me two G-Bucks. How sweet. Um, hopefully she'll come back to YouTube and her Etsy um, shop. But grief takes time and there's honestly no rush we went through this a year ago with my sister losing her husband it took a good four months plus for her to just kind of get back to a routine so honestly take your time Josie if you're watching this there's no rush at all but thank you for the sweet card it was very sweet but I got two G box yay <laughs> Okay, next up is Here to Their Journey, Rebecca. She is so sweet. She has this um, bearded dra dragon, which is super cute. And if you're not watching her channel, you should go there and follow. She's a teacher. Super fun. All right, Joy. I think this is my last holiday card. And again, I have not gone to my post off boxes, so this might have been there for a while. <laughs> But everyone's getting their cards, so I think she was waiting. She wanted to be special, and she didn't want to be, like, with all the other holiday cards. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, Joy. Whoa! <laughs> I see these. Oh, my gosh, look at these cute little Converse shoes. I used to have um, Looney Tunes, so back in, like, fifth grade, I had Looney Tune high tops. I think they're from Keds, not from um, Converse, but super cute. Oh, a little pearl. <laughs> oh, a swordfish. My sister went to a college that had um, that as a mascot. Fishy. Yes. Yes, 70s. Little buses. Oh, I love you. Warm hugs. Yay. <laughs> Good old Olaf. Ooh, true north. That's me. Now I know you're my true north because I'm lost in the woods. Aww. <laughs> my sister bought me the movie Frozen when it first came out because she said that was us. Because <laughs> it's a story about sisters. If you haven't seen it, I mean, not many people know that movie, but <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All right, G-Box. Woo. She's got the good, crispy kind. Not Erica from Black and Blue Budgets where they're all in sequential order crisp kind. But these are some pretty dang. Someone was saying they love the, the sound when I shuffled crisp ones. So this is for you. <laughs> There's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! <laughs> so now I got seven G-Bucks. You guys... Ah, you spoil me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I have been seeing this 
floating around at so many channels and I'm like, oh, that squirrel. I, it's so cute. <laughs> I love squirrels. Um, I know they can be little stinkers, but we watch the squirrels all the time. We have um, woods behind us, so we get a lot of wildlife and they're just so fun to watch. And <laughs> the fact that the squirrel is getting cookies, uh, I just think it's great. <laughs> Rebecca has a Etsy shop and I'm guessing that this is in there. I would go check, but I've been playing board games all day. So I'm just going to say it's in there because it probably is. But how cute. Oh my gosh. I want to fill in the cookies in the cookie jar. <laughs> uh, wishing you a wonderful Christmas season and best wishes. I bet. Did you underline those for me? <laughs> Here to their journey, Rebecca. All right. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> this is so cute. That cookie jar and the squirrelies, I tell you. Oh, melts my heart. <laughs> but since we have some G-Bucks, let's stuff them. Let me grab a biter. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. Let's see here. We currently have... We're adding seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we get to fill in the second row. Yes. Oh my gosh. I still struggle to find G-Bucks. <laughs> but I look and I look and I look and I look. But thank you. So now we have... Oh. One. Oh, this is for the people that like that sound. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen G Buckers. All right. That means we only need nine more. <laughs> and then we'll have another bundle of twenty-five. Ah you guys are so kind to send me these. I honestly so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now let's get into what I spent for the week. And there's a few doozies in there. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We got our book. Are you sneaking ahead? Are you looking? <laughs> you like my little clippy? It's one of those little magnetic clip paper clips. <laughs> All right. Starting off the week strong. Two no spends. Yes. I now have five for the month. My goal is to hit 10. I am doing so good. <laughs> All right, Tuesday, we're like, you know what? We need to spend some money. So <laughs> went to Target, spent 20 bucks. I don't even remember what I bought there, to be honest. <laughs> but 20 bucks it was. Um, Etsy, I spent $15. I, what did I buy on Etsy? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I do remember. I bought from Reinventing Renee. I bought envelopes. Her shut the box envelope. And what was the other envelope? The scratch off envelope. So I bought two envelopes from Reinventing Renee. 15 bucks. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. Wednesday. And I'm doing this really quick because we were playing games and I should really go to bed because it's super, super late right now. On Wednesday, I was able to go out to dinner with a friend and I spent $30 and it was awesome. I I just love being able to hang out with my friend and we were out at, our, like, at this restaurant for like two hours and just had a wonderful time. Um, on the way home, my husband wanted something to eat, so I picked him up Culver's on my way home. So that was $14. So that was just an eating out night. But overall, we haven't spent too bad, right? A little bit here, a little bit there, not too bad. Boom. <laughs> Thursday hits. <laughs> so Thursday, it started off with my husband finding tickets to another comedy show that he really wants to go to. So we stuff money into that recreation fund and then we use it for things that are fun to do. So comedy show, $106. <laughs> All right. It's not till March, but you buy the tickets now. So, you know, um, I did a $20 donation. That was a private donation. 
Um, and then Hy-Vee, $300. Okay. It is board game weekend this weekend. <laughs> I had a $160 of grocery money left and I had a $140 in my board game fund. So my sinking fund that I had set aside for board game weekend. I brought all my money with me at the grocery store and I spent every single dollar. <laughs> Like, literally, I had $300 in my wallet, and the cashier said, your total is $298 and some change. <laughs> so, I was like, here's all my money. <laughs> and I get, in the, I get into our vehicle, and my husband's like, so what was the total? I was like, $300. <laughs> and he was like, what? I was like, but it, nothing went on the credit card. Zero went on the credit card. Because I had the money from my savings challenges that I moved to my sinking funds in preparation for board game weekend. So it paid off, you guys. Like saving for things that you know you're going to do paid off. We are the ones that are hosting board game weekend, which means we're paying for the food. We pay for some drinks. Um, we're not really drinking this month because we're doing dry January. So that helped a lot. We didn't have an extra liquor bill expense. Um, but with the rising cost of groceries and feeding four people instead of two people for a whole weekend, everything just added up more. So I'm so glad, so glad I had that money saved up. <laughs> but boy, was that an ouchy day. <laughs> 400 and say $30 will round up in one day. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> So Friday, we spent the day cleaning, getting ready. We really shouldn't have spent any money. But at the end of the day, like work has been so busy for both of us. And then we had to clean our house, prep everything for the board game weekend. We were exhausted. And my husband suggested that we get something out. I didn't argue because I didn't want to do dishes. We had already cleaned the kitchen, the floors, mopped everything. So Kidova, $27. Could we have had a no spend day this day? Yes. Was my mind, body, everything just done? Yes. <laughs> Was $27 worth mental health at that point? Yes. So, and then, so this is today. I'm recording this Saturday night, like I said. Um, I had to run to Target this morning because I realized I didn't have, um, there was a gluten-free pancake mix that I was going to buy because we're doing brunch tomorrow. And they're all doing um, waffles, but I have to, because I have celiac, so I have to have a gluten-free version. And I know that my current bag is run, I don't have enough to make pancakes for myself. So I had to run to Target. I needed a couple other things, um, $32. So should have been a no spend either, both of these days, to be honest. But it things pop up and sometimes you just have to get things Sometimes you're super exhausted. Your day is so long that spending a little money just happens and it's okay. <laughs> so how much did I spend for the week? Let's move our little foxy head. $564. So really not that bad, honestly. So we spent $452 last week and I thought that was really, really good. But... We only spent $110 more and 140 of that we had saved for board game weekend. So had we not had board game weekend, we actually would have been l spending less this week than we did the week prior. And I honestly was shocked by that just because I thought last week was so good. <laughs> All this to say in January, we are spending so much better than we did in December. And I know it's because holidays and all that stuff is over with, but it just feels refreshing going into the new year and feeling like, okay, things are starting to, we're, things are getting better. <laughs> we're not going so crazy with our spending. And I'm just really excited about it. So, so far for the month, we have spent a little over $1,000, but hardly any of that has gone on the credit card. 
And I say hardly because we put keto on the credit card. <laughs> I know, I know, I shouldn't. But it just, we ordered online for pickup, and so you have to do credit card. We do have $30 left in our spending for our dining out because I'm allocating 100 a week. So I could take that $30, put it in the bank, and put it on the credit card bill. And I may do that. Or I may not, depending on my motivation. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if the worst case so far this month is we've added $30 onto our credit card, we are still doing so much better than months prior. <laughs> but this is my weekly check-in. I need to go to bed. I need to be ready for gaming tomorrow. Um, I'm just having such a fun weekend. Thank you for the happy mail. I also saw I hit 800 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Honestly, it means the world to me. You guys, I don't know how to thank you enough. I only can thank you by like giving giveaways. <laughs> and watch because we will be having one soon. I've ordered stuff. It's Most of it is shipped at this point. So I am getting ready for my next giveaway. But it'll probably be a week or two because I want to make sure I'm a little bit further into the 800. So usually around 825, 830 is when I'll do the giveaway. But stay tuned because my best way to say thank you is to offer fun things, share fun shops that I found, share my friends in the budgeting community. And that's that's how I say thank you. So Stay tuned. I'm going to bed. Goodbye.